Hello, hello, hello. Welcome and welcome back to Nita Price Plant Paradise. This is the place to come to take the time to exhale and enjoy nature's beautiful creations. Today we take our trip into D.C. This is my first D.C. shop. It's called the Little Leaf Plant Shop located on S Street. The full description of the location will be below. Here we walk in and I believe this is a Dracaena. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this, this plant shop. It has many, many pots, uh, planters, whatever you want to call these, and of all shapes, sizes, and colors. I love it all. The fresh plants, as well as uh, Hilton Carter was there a few days before I had actually gone to this location. I'm not sure whether he was at this location, but he was, it was an event that was dealing with him and he signed some books and, you know, greeted people. And I was speaking with, um, the gentleman that actually works there in regards, you know, about the book, and I wish I would have been able to make it. But those fresh flowers are beautiful, and here we have rubber tree plant. Very beautiful. And then I believe that's a philodendron, and then going up, you will see these beautiful, spectacular bird of paradise. Just absolutely gorgeous. Look, they are huge. Absolutely huge. If you have a big space, this will help you fill it up. And I love that umbrella plant. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I forget what these are. They're all, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, there were some ZZs over there. Oh, I love the modeled, <laughs> the modeled stems of these. These are alocasias. Oh, they're beautiful. They were looking so regal up on that shelf. Very beautiful. Then you have the cuprias. The alocasia cuprias. I love, look at that. That's what I wanted since the light was shining in. I really wanted you to see how the light beams through that plant. It is absolutely spectacular. And I love the shelving. As you see, they have many different pots, the textures, they have candles, they have um, misters for you to spray your plants. When your plants, you know, just give it that little squirt. And that's a poly bambino. And this uh, location, matter of fact, the, the little leaf has been at this location for six years. They had just celebrated their sixth year anniversary not too long before I came in, and that's another allocation. And of course, the gorgeous umbrella plant. Very pretty, very, very beautiful. Then you have more ZZ plants. And I forget what the, the those are down at the bottom. And you have the Laurentii, the snake plant, Zanzibaria. Look how beautiful they are. My niece has one, I believe, that's about that tall. You have the Scandapsis. And I can't remember that that's the Exotica Pictus. I don't want to say, but it's a scandapsis. The fresh flowers are gorgeous. I can't wait to pick mine up. I have not picked mine up for my birthday yet. 
<laughs> and then you have some pothos. All different kinds of pothos down there. I like the coloring in that. And there's some more fresh fresh flowers. It says Earth Day flower sale. Four dollars a stem. Very beautiful. These shelves were very beautiful. Oh, and I love that tray. You see that tray? Oh. And then you have the different pots. That's a stag, uh, staghorn fern. And another umbrella. This shot was absolutely beautiful. And I fell in love with that. Oh, this cactus is gorgeous. Look at that. The cacti is just beautiful. And that was some type of fern. I forget the name of it. He did tell me what it was. And I think I do pan back to look at it. It was some kind of Tag, I can't remember the name. He did say what it was, but I can't remember. But it is a fern. Almost remind me of a Rick Rack at first, but then again, it looked like a Rafa De, some type of uh, Rafa Defora, I believe. But this, these are the cacti. I'm actually speaking with him now. He's telling me about the the plant, and I'm getting ready to pan back up so we can. You can look at it again. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness. Very beautiful. Oh, look at that. The snake plant. This is what I fell in love with. The Raphidophora Tet I'm sorry. The Raphidophora decursiva. Look how big those leaves are. Y'all, when I say the leaves are big on this plant, they were huge for a plant this size. I had never seen the leaves that big on a plant that size before. Look how huge they were. They were massive. I fell in love with that plant. I forget why I didn't get it that day. I think because I was there for something else. There's some Birkins. Here is another bird of paradise. I had to pan back down there and look at them again. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. They are gorgeous. That's the AKA dragon tail. Mm -mm -mm. And then you have the ponytail palm. I had never seen one that big. I don't believe I've ever seen one that big. Especially where I did footage. I just don't recall one being that big. And then they had plants hanging from the top, the ceiling. Oh, they were gorgeous. I, I don't even know all what they were because I was just in awe of just everything. Just looking at everything as a whole. It was just a beautiful plant shop. Then you have Mikeins. Look at the tub that is in. Oh my goodness. I could use a tub like that at home. I really could. And then you have the Jungle Boogie. Honest to goodness, y'all, I think of the song Jungle Boogie. If any of you know what I'm saying, say yes, Nita. I can relate. It down in the comment section for the Jungle Boogie song. Not, not Jungle Fever. This is the Jungle Boogie. And the song, I can't sing it because I'll get a strike. <laughs> but it goes, it's Jungle Boogie. Jungle Boogie. Jungle Boogie. <laughs> I'm probably throwing you all off just by doing that. But that's the main thing it says. And then the music pops in and it keeps saying it. 
Now that was some string of turtles. And of course you have some marble queens. They were beautiful. The leaves are pretty big. And then you have peperomia. I think those are the watermelon peperomias. And then there's some more cacti. There's a monstera. Some more palm trees. Then you have some potting soil mix. You're about to see what I came there for. Matter of fact, I didn't come there for that, but that just, I happened to see it. Yes, I picked up some aroid mix. I sure did. I was glad to be able to see that. These plants were beautiful. They were well cared for. And there's some more monsteras. So you all go check it out. This this place is just beautiful. So calming to go to. It's just, it really was. These are some more peperomias. There's the cacti. Then they have other soils, um, pumice and I think some sand. That's if you want to make your own probably aroid mix. These are some types of, uh, I believe, calatheas. And I just love the colors and I just wanted to <laughs> just show you the beauty of it. This rattlesnake. Yep, the jungle boogies again. But I'm serious, if anybody remembers that song, please let me know. And there's some jade that's right there. Please let me know if you remember that song, Jungle Boogie. Then they have rooting for you. And these are some staghorn ferns that were above my head. Here, I think it's Scandapsis. Look at that greenery. Oh my goodness. I was in love with this place. It, it's, we won't talk about those that's on the floor that I just looked at. Had to pan down and look at it. And if, you, if you're wondering why I'm turning the way I'm doing, I'm turning away from people. There's a begonia. Then we're back over to the micans. And as you can see, they have other things there. I, I don't think I really like panned in to see what it was. They have recyclable bags. And I'm not sure whether these are hom homolaminas or agliaminas. Or I'm just not sure. There's some stromanthes. I think one might be a Chinese evergreen. But there's also an aglionema that I get mixed up that is not the Chinese. You know, y'all know me. Those that have been with me for a while, you know I get the two mixed up all the time. Time. And I'm not sure what this was, but I love this leaf. That's a new leaf, obviously, that unfurled. It was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm looking at more books. There were puzzles. And like I said, the soilless uh, soil, as they like to call it. I love this wall. I think I'm about to pan up, rooting for you. Leave a cutting, take a cutting, or pick one for a dollar. Isn't that wonderful? You can actually get a one-leaf cutting and ask them to switch it out for you. Say, I'm leaving a leaf, and you take one of the leaves home with you, and that's it's a swap. Or you ask them for the leaf, and pay a dollar. You can't beat that. You cannot beat it. That way you get your plant or your wish list plant. There's some Teneki. Oh, look at that. Yes, that is gorgeous. The ZZ. 
I can't wait for mine. My, my girl is bouncing back. She's taking her time, but she's bouncing back. And that fiddle leaf, leaf fig was absolutely gorgeous. She was loving that spot. I was telling the guy that. I said, she is loving this area she's in. And there's some, I believe, some Jacinas on the other side. There's some whale fins. And there are, again, Sansevierias. I think that's a red Anderson, but I'm not sure that was on the right there. And those are some types of pothos. And that right there. I believe that's the Brad Anderson. Or I could be wrong. So if anybody else knows what that is, please let me know. Those look like Hawarthias. And then you have other cacti that's there. And that, those are the Sands of Air. See, I love it with the baskets. Oh, man, that basket is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I wasn't sure what those were. And they have cards. So if you were picking up a plant for someone, you can get a card with the card in it. There's some more stag horns. There's some pictures. I believe the pictures were for sale. I forgot to ask, but I believe they were. There's a monstera passing by. Once again, Hilton Carter's Living Wild book. And then you have other accessories, you know, for you to water your plant, mist it if, if you want. I like how it's all in one. I started to get that, but I was like, mm, no, maybe not just yet. They have some air plants, and then you're going to see uh, boys with plants. I forget who the the author was for that. That was, that was really nice, but like a nice... Uh, and then it has care cards for plants. Then we have the rehab section. I tell you, if I knew how to take a plant and rehab it, I would. Those look like the milk, African milk cactus plants I like, but they were 50% off. And here are some more, I think it's the ponytail palm or some type of palm tree. I love this. It was very jungle-like when I did that. Y'all can tell when I really, really like something. There's some more ZZs down there. And now you're just getting a recap of everything that we just looked at. And the beautiful thought, because I have to do the beautiful thought because the video is coming to an end. The beautiful thought is Love yourself. Have some self-love. Just love yourself. That's the beautiful thought. But here's the recap. I hope you all are enjoying this video. say thank you for watching I thank and appreciate each and every one of you stay safe and God bless